Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows and today I'm going to show you how to set up Live for the Oculus Quest because recently they just released the beta for the Oculus Quest so we can run Live on it natively to put ourselves in some of our favourite virtual reality games. I really do love this way of watching as a spectator. It's much more engaging than watching someone in a box in the corner. It's really great to see that this quest is getting this sort of attention, not that it does it anyway, but this is something that we didn't have so I'm over the moon to hear this. There's there's also an iOS application for you to sign up for as well, where you can use this application, put yourself in game without the use of a green screen and using your mobile phone. I do have an Oculus Quest giveaway as well, where you can have a Quest, a Rift S or a console. It's up to you guys. Subscribe to the channel and there's a link down below on how to enter. The setup I am going to show you will require you to have a webcam and a green screen, or if you're using a Kinect, you will not need the green screen. It's important to note as well that you don't need a beastly gaming PC to run this. You can just use your normal computer, so you're not restricted if you've got just a casual laptop or a normal desktop. Unfortunately, I don't have an Apple device to make use of, so I'm unable to use the iOS application. I'm running on Android, so I can't show you that, but I am trying to get one so that I can update this video and let you guys know how to do that as well. This is a rather fiddly setup, so I thought I should... I better make a video on it because it's kind it's kind of tough. So anyway, let's get started. First word from the sponsor and then let's begin this tutorial. And to let you guys know, if you were looking for a 5 meter cable and they're sold out, they will be back in stock again towards the end of the month, hopefully just in time for Half-Life Alex. So the first thing you need is the Live APK on your Quest headset. You can get this APK from the Live Discord, which there should be a link down below in the description for you to grab. This will be under the iOS and Quest README channel. You then want to plug your headset into the computer, open up SideQuest and drag and drop that APK into SideQuest so it will install it onto your headset. Now you want to open Steam, search for Live and install it. If you're wanting to use your iPhone, you will need to sign up for the iOS beta on their Discord. I don't own an iPhone, so I am working on getting that tutorial out for you guys so that you can use a virtual green screen and your phone instead of having to use a webcam, or a green screen or a Kinect. I will update this tutorial as soon as I get my hands on it. So once Live is installed, open it up and you may have to install some drivers if this is your first time installing the application. So close Live, go to your library, right click the Live application, go to properties, and then you want to enable the beta. Once enabled the Oculus Quest beta, this should trigger some update on the Steam application. You should see it going on in the background. Now's a good time to ensure that you have your camera installed and plugged in and you have your green screen ready. Unless you are using a Kinect instead of a webcam, then you don't need the green screen. So launch Live and you then want to select the experimentation bottle at the top here. You want to enable the quest part and disable Steam VR. Now go back to the main menu and launch the compositor. In the prompt that this pops up, you should now see quest as an option in the capture section. So select this option. You then want to find your headset on the network or you may need to plug it into your computer to enable this. You can then disconnect it after. But you want to select your headset from this drop down. It will then search and connect to it. You then want to select the camera tab. You want to add a new camera. If you're using a Kinect, this is where you'll specify you're using that device and this will enable you to use a virtual green screen. But we're using a webcam, so select webcam, choose the settings that you wish to have and give it a name so you know that's your setting. This is an important part now. You may need to try this a couple of times before your game picks it up. So select the calibration tab, start the Quest Live application in your headset as well. So that's under library, unknown sources and Quest Live. Then select begin collaboration on your computer and follow the on-screen instructions. The app will give you certain points to touch. The first one is towards the camera and the others are back where you were standing at each point. I found the best results were when I used both hands on each point together, not just one. Then save this collaboration. It may complain and you need to plug in your headset again, so just plug it in again until the save is complete. So at this point, what you need now is to run a live compatible title on your Quest headset and it should impose you into the game. So now it's time to get a game. 
It does say that many games are supported, but I failed to find some of them. But one that does work is Beat Saber. So for this one, go to your Oculus app on your mobile device, go to library, go to a supported game, I'm going to Beat Saber, scroll down to the version section here, click on it and change it to the latest beta. Once done, inside your headset, you may need to uninstall Beat Saber and install it again to get that version on your headset. But once downloaded, run the app, go to settings, and you should now see a mixed reality option. Select it and enable it. You may need to restart the app on your computer and within your headset if this doesn't work for you because this beta is very temperamental for sure. I had to just fiddle things and do them multiple times to get them working. But if you're running live with now the settings that you've just set up and you're now running Beat Saber with mixed reality enabled, it should be working and it should be a bit like this. I'm using a webcam and I'm using a really small green screen, so it's not really that great in quality, but I'm sure you guys will have better results if you've got the correct kit. But what I really want to try is the virtual green screen, so it enables you to have more space and you're not restricted to the tiny area that I have at the moment. Well, that's it from me today guys i hope that has helped you set up live and you can start creating some great videos for the community if you are having any troubles because it is a rather fiddly setup join the discord we have a support channel and i can help you out there so thanks guys thanks for watching steve knows thank you to my patrons you absolute legends the charity vote is coming soon i can't wait i am hoping for make a wish so stick around for next time happy gaming guys good day